morning my lovely students class 8 so here let's begin with the part 2 of chapter 6 combustion and flame of science let's begin in our previous ppt we had talk about the fire extinguisher fire triangle and the types of fuel and their categories now here we will talk about the types of combustion the combustion can be classified into three types first is rapid combustion second is spontaneous combustion third is explosion and the fourth is slow combustion now just by looking at the word you can identify what does this mean now remember students science is all about the understanding and the logics and it is present in our daily life so whenever such keywords are asked in examination you just break the word you will find the meaning of such keywords the first is rapid rapid is fast combustion is to get burn so rapid combustion number 2 spontaneous combustion that is the fast combustion it take place quickly third is explosion that is like a bomb bursting of bomb nuclear bomb or the crackers you know they just exploded and the d is slow combustion that is the combustion that takes place slowly and that will not be a complete combustion because it is the slow combustion now let's talk about the rapid combustion first the combustion it in which the substance burns rapidly and produce heat and light is called the rapid combustion for example burning a white phosphorus at the room temperature we have already talked that phosphorus has the ignition temperature 35 degrees celsius which is which is the room temperature so that is called the rapid combustion second is spontaneous combustion the type of combustion in which a material suddenly burst into the flames without the application of any apparatus is called the spontaneous combustion that is burning of the matchstick or the burning of the cigarette or the some quick fuel that is get burst example of spontaneous combustion the spontaneous combustion of coal dust in the coal mines and the forest fire caused by the spontaneous combustion you might be knowing in the beginning of the year there was a huge spontaneous fire in the forest of australia where 80% koalas died due to burning so that is the spontaneous combustion and it is not easy to control or take over such kind of fire explosion a sudden reaction that takes place with the evaluation of heat light and sound a large amount of gas is formed in the reaction liberated such reaction is called the explosion this examples are crackers and the nuclear bombs example is burning of cracker and even sometimes nuclear energy that just start with the bang okay and we get uh, we get not only heat energy but we also see the we also feel the sound energy slow combustion the type of combustion which takes place at the slow rate at the low temperature is called the slow combustion for example respiration now you are right yes you correct you heard correctly that even a slow combustion taking place in all of us body that is the respiration number 2 is rusting of an iron this both are the types of slow combustion flame a flame is a visible now something when i say flame you might have some picture imaginary picture in your mind a flame is a visible gaseous part of a fire it caused by the highly exothermic reactions taking place in this in this thin zone some flames are hot enough to have iodized ionized gaseous components of sufficient density to consider plasma however a candle flame which has temperature below 1500 degree celsius produce too low and iron density to be considered as a plasma so to consider a flame as a plasma you need to have really high temperature and surprisingly your candle flame is having temperature as high as 1500 degree celsius substance which give out flame substance which vaporize during combustion gives flame for example kerosene and wax burn with the flame whereas charcoal on the other hand does not vaporize and so does not produce a flame now these are the different zones of candle flame now this figure is generally asked in the examination kindly uh, draw this figure in your notebook and label it well 
Now you might be knowing that the outer part of the or outer zone of your flame is slightly blue in color, and the inner zone of your candle flame is orangish yellow in color. Now, whenever there is a complete combustion, fuel burn completely that produces blue flame. That means the outer zone is blue, so that shows the complete combustion because it is in the direct contact with the oxygen. Similarly, when flame the inner side in the inner portion, it is yellow orange because it does not have the complete combustion. Now, just imagine your gas stove. If they burn blue, burn with the blue flame, that means they are having the highest amount of heat energy. Your food can be cooked in the lesser time. But if your flame is yellow or orange, that means your burner is not providing sufficient oxygen for the combustion. and that is called the incomplete combustion and the heat energy is not enough now the outermost part is the hottest part that you will draw in blue middle part is moderately hot and the innermost part is least hot which is yellow in color okay so you can see that the innermost zone of unburned wax is the black in color so if you just cover this candle with some glass you will find the black ashes of unburnt part and after some time the candle will blow off because it does not have more oxygen which will support the burning we all have done such activity in our past goldsmith that is jeweler or the person who make jewelry now goldsmith blow the outermost zone of flame with a metallic blow pipe for melting gold and the silver so because that gold has the highest melting point so it requires more temperature so just by blowing using metallic pipe they will provide more and more oxygen and due to that the temperature will rise and so gold can easily molded into different varieties of shapes of ornaments calorific value this is my favorite question i generally ask what is what do you mean by calorific value the amount of heat energy produced on the complete combustion of 1 kg of fuel is called the calorific value the calorific value is expressed in a unit called kilojoule per kg remember the unit now calorific values of different fuels are given here you can see the highest calorific value is of biogas which is 35000 to 40000 and then cng which is almost 50000 you can say it is the highest with calorific value and the methane gas which is 50000 as well as diesel which is 45000 kerosene 45000 petrol 45000 so this are the petroleum products with the highest calorific values you can see the least calorific value is with the cow dung cake which is with the 6000 to 8000 kilojoule so generally cow dung cake i have seen it is used for the domestic purpose for boiling water in villages and it is free of cost so people might prefer it but it shows the incomplete combustion so it produces lot of smoke which is not good for the environment as well as human lungs let me tell you the highest calorific value here shown is of hydrogen which is 1 now that's why this is the fuel that is used for the jet planes and the flights so you here you got the answer which was asked earlier that what kind of fuels are used for the jets and helicopters and the plane yes that is hydrogen gas because it has the highest combustion and the highest calorific values not disadvantage of burning fuels the carbon fuels like wood coal petroleum release unburned carbon particles this are pollutants and cause respiratory diseases so whenever there is an incomplete combustion of any fuel that may lead to an uh, there may lead to the diseases which are related to lungs and the respiratory system and let me tell most important organ in your body is lungs because it is the supplier of the oxygen exchange gases between the alveoli and the cell of the body so you have to extra take care of your lungs number 1 number 2 you should stay away from the smoke or some person who smoking in the public 
incomplete combustion of this fuels give carbon monoxide gas that's why in the case of fire sometimes people even died not only due to burning but due to this poisonous gas entering their breathing system or the lungs let me tell you carbon monoxide is that poisonous if the person is kept in a room with the carbon monoxide he will immediately die it is very poisonous gas and can kill the person who inhale this gas disadvantage of burning fuels now fuels without that we cannot live but still there are certain disadvantage that we cannot ignore and just looking at to those disadvantages what we should do is we should reduce the use of fuel whenever they are not required number one combustion of most fuels release the carbon dioxide and the environment increase the concentration of this gas leads to the global warming burning of coal and diesel release the oxides of sulfur and nitrogen dissolve in the rain water and form the acid such rains are called the acid rain now let me tell you what is acid rain now during rainy season what happens all this poisonous gas which are already there in the air mix with the rain water and make it slightly acid now this rain which is slightly acidic when come down to the ground it is with the lesser ph and can harm all the plants animals humans as well as the monuments you might have heard that due to acid rain the beauty of taj mahal had started vanishing it was turning yellow why it was turning yellow because of the surrounding mathura oil factories all those oil factories were releasing all the poisonous gas directly in the air without filtering it so this gas is used to mix with the water along with the rain water and they used to get sprinkled over the taj mahal which is made up of marble and that marble start reacting with the acid and started turning yellowing so you can imagine how fatal this gases are so one should avoid using fuels if they are really not necessary number 2 that's why you should go with the fuel which completely combust or completely oxidize number 1 that's why these days our government has banned bs4 engine vehicles now some students might be knowing what is bs4 and bs6 now bs4 is the older types of engine older type of engine and that has been replaced with the bs6 engine which produce less amount of unwanted gases when you use the fuels global warming now global that means earth and warming is to heat up so global warming is the rise in the temperature of atmosphere of the earth this result in melting of polar glaciers which leads to rise of the water in the sea low lying coastal areas may even be submerged under this water now imagine because of global warming does all the glaciers of himalayas and ladakh starts melting and they started coming down to ground level as a flood so all the lower levels community and villages might suffer with the floods and they get vanish in the water so that way it is very threatening and alarming situation which is the global warming an entire world is fighting against such situation thank you i hope you have understood this chapter well i'll give you the resume for this chapter just go through all the videos thoroughly and write down the textual exercises don't forget to draw the flame figure with the label proper labeling and if possible draw the colored figure of the flame thank you